Hi, my name is Adam Rosenthal. I'm the director of marketing for the Pharma Business Line of Promoc, and we're here at PAC Expo 2022. And what I'd like to show you today is Promoc Pharma and our full line for aseptic kits. Uh, this line goes all the way from filling all the way to case packing and every step in between. So what we're, what we're doing today is aseptic kits. Uh, it's a vial and a syringe in a blister pack that's then put in a carton and several cartons are then put in a case. And again, we take this process all the way from the point of filling and closing the vials and syringes all the way to the final case. So I'll show you very briefly each of the machines that are involved in this and all the steps. Uh, follow me. Okay, so here's the first step in our line. As I mentioned, we start with filling and closing of the syringes and vials. Here to talk about this machine from our partner, Dara Pharmaceutical, is my colleague, Tom Kessler. So this is our NFL2 syringe filling and plunger insertion machine. So it's for RTU nested pre-filled syringes, vials or cartridges, and we can fill them and plunger them at up to 18,000 an hour. Okay, so our vials and syringes have been filled and closed, and of course now they need labels. The labels for both the vials and the syringes are being printed on this machine called the Autonomy from WLS. The Autonomy is a standalone digital label printer uh, that integrates the ability to print your artwork, uh, it does full inspection, it can print variable data, and it can print lot sizes anywhere from one to a million. And it's again a standalone digital label printer. So now that we've gotten our labels from the autonomy, those webs are brought here to, this machine is called the Courser, Courser 230 from NJM. This is a labeling machine for vials or syringes. And the cool thing about this machine is it can do both. So in our application here, the Courser from NJM is labeling our syringes that will go in the kit. Okay, again, so we just saw our syringes being labeled by the NJM Courser. This machine here is called the VR72. This is going to be applying the labels from the autonomy to the vials in our kit. The VR72 is a vertical roller trunnion labeler from WLS. Uh, it can run in some applications up to 900 per minute. Uh, very often runs at speeds up to 750 per minute. Uh, it's, it's a vertical roller trunnion labeler. It runs round cylindrical objects. Uh, very renowned labeler in the pharmaceutical industry. So now that our vials and syringes have been labeled, they come over here in custom design trays. They're fed into this machine here from our partner, PharmaMed. PharmaMed has designed for us here a pick and place robot that is picking the vials and syringes and putting them in place so that they can be put in their blister package. This blister packaging machine is called the TF2 from PharmaWorks. It's a great mid-range machine. It's got a really deep draw. Uh, great for thermal forming, everything from pharmaceuticals to consumer goods. All right, so now our vial and our syringe have been put in their blister pack, and they're on their way to be cartoned in a SERPA P100 cartoner. What's interesting here is that we have a piece of equipment between the thermal former and the cartoner. This is called the XTS Linear Transport System from a partner of ours, uh, Beckhoff. And what it's doing is it's removing the asynchronous challenges from integrating a cartoner and a thermal former. Basically, it's uh, receiving the blister packs from the cartoner uh, through gravity, and then it brings them around here, and it's aligning with the track, uh, the infeed track of the cartoner. So it, again, it removes the asynchronous challenges of linking together or integrating a blister packaging machine and a cartoner. So then we move to the P100 cartoner from SERPA. Ultimately, these are all cartoned in their own unique carton. And then, of course, at the very end here, cartons are placed into a full pack, into a full case with the SERPA P200 case packer.